All right, you guys. It is crunch time. I got back from a three day trip yesterday. I was absolutely exhausted. I slept for 12 hours. So I'm getting a super late head start. I just was not feeling any sort of energy. So we are leaving the house. I have no makeup on, no moisturizer on. I throw on a sweatshirt. It's 75 degrees here and windy. So like Oxford flip flops. We're looking really terrible. But I'm getting out of the house. That's the first step. Shit, I forgot to return. Oh my god. It's fine. Um, it's the first step. And then I brought my makeup bag to do in the car if I feel like I need it, but we need to go find somewhere to look. Round That's what we have to do. Okay, so I'm doing a self guided tour and I accidentally went to the wrong place, tried opening their door, and their dogs started barking. So we're doing great. So here is, I kind of like this one. So all of this. This one is under two grand and it comes with homeowner's insurance, comes with a few other things and I'm like, okay, that's great. Walk in, they have a smart home control system and then the pantry is huge. They have the valet system, whatever, huge pantry. I do not like how old the washer and dryer is. Like mine is a whirlpool at my apartment now, but I think we just have to deal with it. Kitchen. Love. I don't like that the walls are that like stucco, whatever. But you know, we're just trying to ball on a budget. Um, kitchen, living room, all in one. And then bathroom, much smaller, but again, what are you gonna do? Bedroom. And you guys, look at the size of this closet. It's freaking huge so this one's kind of winning in my book what? all right you guys we had a successful day um hold on, let me turn this down i am home now i saw some really promising places and i'm going to start editing i don't have the like energy to pack so i'm gonna do this because i need to get a video up I just opened a bottle of wine because I'm literally so freaking stressed. Not that that's what you should do when you're stressed, but I know you guys are going to get on my butt for saying that, but I don't really care. Gyoza, lit a candle, this Target candle. I really love it. Tobacco and bergamot. Um, can I put this down here? Will you see me? No, you won't. Can we angle you on the candle and not burn the house down? Great. Um, so let me recap these apartments with you. So, the first one, I actually did vlog it on my camera, so I don't need to recap that one, but I really liked it. It was a little, um, it was the cheapest option, and I don't want to say it was like, it wasn't ghetto, like all the upkeep was really good, like people kept their balconies really nice, but you could tell it was like a lower income area, and there's nothing wrong with that, but like as a single woman living on my own, like... I don't know. I wasn't 100% sold on safety wise. So second place we saw, I really liked, really liked. It was a door key entry and the closet space was super minimal. There was no island. And the other thing was, I think that was it. Storage, no, I think that was it. Those are really my only problems with it. Um, and it was a little bit more than the first place. I don't think I'm going to... Oh, they, it didn't have an outdoor like patio or anything. And in Florida, that's super common to have that. I mean, I think in any apartment it is. So I don't think I'm going to go with it, even though it was kind of my favorite one. Like everything was super clean outside. It was very similar to where I'm at now. Like it was a brand new apartment complex. The third one was right around the corner. I didn't even see this place online. It was right around the corner from the other one. And I just happened to see it. So I drove up to look at it and it was nice. There was a few things like I questioned about it because like everyone kind of didn't take like well care of their outdoor porch area. Like, people would leave, like, dirty, like, vacuums and just a whole bunch of 
clutter and I think that just looks kind of trashy um, but it had the best inside it had the most storage and it was around 2200 and they were doing a full month lease free so that's the one that I'm most interested in it had the most space closet space everything and then it also had the balcony now there's one more that I want to look at I'm gonna go see it tomorrow morning when I go look at the other one that I really liked the last one again so I will keep you posted on that. I'm going to edit the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, you guys, we are quickly going to pause the moving drama and talk about a product that has completely helped my hair transformation. As you can tell, I went super platinum blonde and I'm loving it. But when going blonde, especially this light, you need to do some extra taking care of it and there is this product that I've been using that has helped so much and this portion of the video is sponsored by Kitsch and you guys they came out with this rice water bar shampoo and conditioner first off let me just talk about how great this is for travel that it is a solid bar so you're not having more liquids to add and I don't know about you guys but whenever I go on vacation and I bring my own shampoo and conditioner which I always do uh, I run out so fast and this is tiny but it will last so long it also comes with this little like travel pack that you put in it I'm obsessed so great for your traveler but also great for if you are trying to improve your hair health the strength trying to get it to grow trying to balance your scalp it has done wonders for me so I've been using the protein rice water shampoo it lathers up so well it's so easy to use and the conditioner adding this product into my routine has done wonders for my hair I actually recently went and got it redone and my stylist said whatever you're doing keep it up because your hair is so healthy I also want to mention it's silicone free paraben free sulfate free it came out with this little caddy and you stick it right into your shower it looks so cute and aesthetically pleasing and then the bars don't get soggy or anything because it drains itself I'm absolutely obsessed with how my hair has been looking they said me a few free goodies that I wanted to show with you guys because they did offer 25% off site-wide if you use my code Carrie Ann. So these are the ones that I've been loving. This huge claw clip. Oh my gosh, the amount of clips I break with having long hair. How stinking cute is that? One of my number one tips for when applying my conditioner is using a wide tooth comb after you apply the conditioner to very gently brush your hair out i feel like it really helps so evenly distribute everything so i love their wide tooth comb and then it has a little hook so it hooks really well i've also been obsessed with their twisty turby so if you guys are interested in trying out their products i will have a link in my description box or you can just use code carry 25 at checkout and you'll get 25 percent off your order so great things thank you so much to kitsch for sponsoring today's video and now let's continue on the moving it is the next day we are looking at one more apartment complex that I forgot that I had made an appointment with and we're gonna see what that's all about I'm gonna go back to the one that I really liked because I think I mentioned this but online it said that the price which was 2280 was for a 17 month lease what no if it's 12 month lease I'm signing today we're moving in we're gonna do it um, if it's 17 month then we might have to go for the very first one that so yeah let's see what this place is about we submitted an application oh my gosh <laughs> it is seven o'clock and we have a day until we have to move and i looked out so much because i went and saw a few more today and the one that i really wanted well so the apartment complex i really liked i was like this just isn't gonna work there's not enough storage i don't have a balcony i don't have a counter i like my chairs and he showed me one that was out of my budget and I was just gonna make it work. I'll pick up more trips because the thing is I need storage, I need space. I'm such a homebody, I need to be comfortable where I'm at. And then he just called me. So I was deliberating between that one and the smallest one that would be definitely in budget. And he just called me and he was like, I'm looking at the price now. It just dropped on the apartment, it's $100 less and we're waiving one month free. So it would have came out to essentially the same price i probably would have been saving like 200 dollars on the smaller of the apartments so i applied um it is like their own leasing co own leasing company like on site so they don't go through a third party or anything so it should go by or go through pretty quickly 
Um, sorry, I cannot think. I'm just so freaking like stressed and nerve wracked. I could not do this without you guys. So I love you very, very much. Um, yeah. So let's see if I get it. Good morning, you guys. Today is the day before moving. Okay. We are packing things up. I think we have a place and movers come tomorrow around noon or, noon or three. Oh my goodness gracious. I look like a mess. I'm speaking like a mess. We're doing great. Um, it has been so hard for me to find a place within budget. We are going out of budget, but here's the thing. Um, I cannot find somewhere in budget living alone that I feel like safe enough. The reviews tell me it's safe enough. Um, not unsafe, but like the one that we saw that I said was the lowest. You go in there and it's, it's nice, but it like has this lingering smell of like smoke or mildew or something. And I'm like, if I'm living in that for a year, like what is that doing? I just, I don't know. And then me being my crazy cat lady, I'm like, I don't want my cats breathing that in and they have like little lungs. So, um, we are going out about it. What did you just find? He keeps finding catnip. Give me that. Go there. Give me. Go there. I packed up all their treats food in this thing and he keeps diving in there. He found the catnip last night too. Okay. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. So we are out of budget, but I have to make it work somehow. We have to make it work. <laughs> We're out of options. So YouTube sponsorships, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it's hard out there for, I feel like you guys can really relate to this. If you don't have a roommate, like I looked on roommate um, Facebook pages and it just, nothing seemed to work out. And, um, with like doing YouTube and stuff, it's a little bit harder to have a roommate because I'm standing here in the kitchen filming, like I really do take up the space. So if you don't have a roommate, you're trying to live in a safer space. Like it's hard to find. Things are so expensive in Florida. Someone told me a statistic, like a thousand people a day were moving here. We're going to pack up. My mom's supposed to be calling me any minute and let's get this day going. Okay. So, I am getting ready because we have a place. Yay! Um, I'm having a glass of wine. This is what I'm drinking. It's a Malbec from Argentina. I really just like the bottle. So, yeah. I don't usually drink Malbec. But, I... Everything's done. I just need to submit a payment. Their, like, online banking portal it keeps freezing. So, I have to wait till the morning to talk to them because it like loads until it shows my bank stuff and then it just freezes. I don't know what the deal is. Whatever. Everything's good. We just need to hit pay and we have the place. So I am taking myself to dinner, literally just myself, and I'm just going to miss my favorite restaurant over here so much. It's called Thai Kin. If you guys are ever in this area, I like talk about it all the time on my Instagram. Um, but it really is my favorite because it's like an Asian fusion Latin style and they have the best sushi, boba buns, everything. Like they have like 250,000 followers on Instagram. Come say hi, gun. I got them. I don't know if I put this in the vlog, but I called one of those portable mobile pet groomers and they got cleaned. Doesn't he look so handsome? He smells so much better too. Take myself there because I'm going to miss it and it's right around the corner from my house. I can walk there and now I'm going to be like 35 minutes away. So we're taking ourselves there, celebrating my motherfucking self. Um, and I've been wearing this outfit for, for two days. Don't care. But I decided to throw on some makeup because I was like, damn, I feel like a slob. I have almost everything done except for my bedroom, but I never really unpacked my bedroom, so it's not a whole lot to tackle, and it's just clothes, so I could just throw that in a bag and call it a day. I'm not, it's not like I'm moving cross-country again where I think that I need to have it all 
prim proper done. Like, if it's all thrown in the bag, I don't really give a shit. As long as it's out and we're out of this apartment on time, we're good to go. Mama's. Come here. Hi. Good morning, it's moving day. I'm actually really excited, you guys. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to get out of here. We have almost everything packed up, but it's only 8 a.m. Staying up a little bit last night and cleaning until about 3 a.m. and then I woke up at seven. So we are running on caffeine. I'm gonna take some AG1, uh, my little green drink, and hope that that'll give me some energy. Usually it does, like it makes me feel better. And we're just gonna keep going. One last time seeing this here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you. Hi Ganga, good morning. Hi Bobby, how's it going little man? You excited for today? Trying to pet smart, got the kitties some food. It's been my last day feeding my outdoor kitties and I went and saw them last night when I was walking home from being out to eat. And I called, like I saw it running across the road and I made my little noise and he just came running, running to me, he, she, whatever. I'm gonna miss him. But I'm gonna feed them for the last day. And then I'm bringing this to the guy that helped me with my apartment because he really put in work, great communication. And we got it done with two, within two days. So he deserves an award. And thank you to you, Nicholas. Guys, we got the apartment. Okay, we're in here, but that took so much longer than I expected. So quick tour, movers are on the way to my place. God, I get my life together. But I brought my room to start so that we can clean, because I don't know how well they cleaned in here. We walk in, so much natural light, so nice. Island, kitchen, this is gonna be the fastest thing ever. Living room, bedroom, closet, bathroom, great. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Washer dryer. And um, second bathroom. There we have it. Okay, you guys. So we just got the keys. I'm on my way back home. And it's a Saturday and I feel bad. These movers have to work. I just got back to the complex and I have one hour till they're here to pack up my room. Do we think that I can do it? Babies! Oh my gosh, I just hustled. The mover should be here any minute. It is not the prettiest move. I just have some clothes left to put in these like hanger things. But it's a disaster. Don't get me wrong. It's a you know, we're driving 30 minutes. It's fine. But, you know, we're good. About these hanger things. Just put my clothes in. We're good to go. It's great. Rocky is panicking and I feel so bad. She tried darting out so I had to put them in their stroller. <laughs> um, but I feel so bad. It's almost done. It's not gonna be much longer, okay? This is safe, you can't get out. It's okay. So I'm going to feed the kitties for the last time. I want the home team. That makes me happy. I don't know the other one is though. Taking a break. I found me and the leftover sushi. They're almost done. But they're taking, like it's taking a while. This is going to be so expensive. Good. 
And I went down to return my stuff to the office, and of course they're not there. They're never there. And I'm just like, I'm ready. I need to get rid of so much stuff, you guys. I don't think you understand. I need my sushi because I haven't eaten yet today and it's like four. Okay, let's do an empty apartment tour because we're on the clock and they're almost done. But they're taking forever. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Here's my kitchen. The balcony. It's a cute little view. Let me come over here. We have a washer and dryer. Kitties. Hi, babies. Bathroom. I need to grab my Jolie shower head. That's great if you're blonde. Skincare, everything, you need it. And then my bedroom. And my closet. That's where the mold was. But I left it all in really good condition. It all looks good as when I got it. Yeah, let's go, babies. Ready to go? New home? Yeah? Rocky, Rocky, you'll be fine. All right, we are on the road to the new apartment. The guys are following behind me. 20 minute drive ish, 25. Um, kitties are ready, and I'm so exhausted, you guys.